hello cellists and bassists. Okay, I'm gonna do your video together. Um, the first thing that I want you to do for Here Comes the Sun is I want you to listen to the video. If you know the song and if you're familiar with the rhythms, it's gonna make it a lot easier. Excuse me, it's gonna make it a lot easier. Okay, so the trickiest part, well, one tricky thing about this is the key signature. We have F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp, okay? Because of this, um, we're still gonna have our third fingers up here for C sharp, third finger here, third finger here, because these guys are natural, naturally naturals, okay? Um, but we have extensions, okay? We've got a C sharp here on the G string, we've got an F sharp here on the C string, and we've got a G sharp here if we happen to play that on the D string. Um, we do play low, so we're playing on the C and the G strings, for cellos. Um, so we are going to be having um, these extensions. And in fact, I'm going to kind of concentrate on one line because a lot of it is repetitive. Okay. Um, you notice that you have eight measures of rest. Um, so I'm going to start at measure nine. I've got a full beat rest before that. I'm going to leave out the ties because um, the rhythms are a little bit tricky with the ties. Um, if you look at it, it's going to be T, 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 Ta, T, Ta. Okay, so short, 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 long, short, long. Now, how do I know that those are short or how do I know that those are long? Any notes that are connected are going to be shorter notes, shorter than notes that are not connected, twice as fast. Um, or any notes that have a little curvy flag, it can go up, it can come down. Um, that's one of those shorter, faster notes by themselves. All right, so we have rest. Short, 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 long, short, long, short, 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 long. All right. Rhythmically, it's going to be this. Rest. All right. Um, I'm going to try it with the notes. So remember, cello, as I said, we have the C sharp, so you're going to have to do an extension. So you take your first finger, you're going to stretch your second finger and your thumb. Make sure you bring your thumb back to first finger, stretch your second finger up to your third tape. Three will go where four normally goes, four reaches further. Okay, so we have. four, one, oh, I don't even know what I'm playing. Sorry, stretch four, two, where the three would normally be. Stretched four, one, stretch four, one, two, stretch four. Okay, I'm gonna try one more time. One, two, one, two, ready, it's rest. Four, one. All right. So it's a little tricky. It really is. For cello, it's probably the hardest. Okay. So um, we're going to keep going on to measure 16. And please, I want you to know that I'm not expecting this to be perfect. I'm just expecting you to give it a try. Submit what you can do. And that's fine. Okay. Um, we're going to go on after 16. We have a full rest. We still have a C sharp, so we still have an extension. Okay, so I'm gonna play along until we get to something different. Okay, so it's rest, rest. Now this is the first time we go down on the C string. It's four fingers for an F and it's a sharp. We've got another F sharp. Same thing. Rest. Here's the extended four. And then woohoo! We have a G. But what's in the key signature? We can't play open G because we have fat cats go in the key signature. We've got three sharps. So we have to play. So it's higher than a zero lower than a one, 
so I pull it backwards, closer to the scroll, closer to the pegs. Okay, so I'm going to, I lost where I was. Um, I'm going to start at 21. So it'll be rest, extension, pull back, and keep going. But it's repetitive, so the, the that's the good thing about that. Okay, the we just stopped at a, a section where there's a whole lot of rests. So there's four full rests, and then at 33, the time signature changes. If you look back to the beginning, the time signature was 4-4, four, four, which we are very familiar with and works very well. Um, so that means there are four beats in a measure, and those beats are quarter notes, so that's just very usual for us. But when you look at 33, the time signature changes to 3-8 time, okay? 3-8 time means that there are three eighth notes in a measure, and you would think that someone would count one, two, three, and count every single one of the eighth notes, but in our case, we generally don't. I know I've said this in orchestra before, but when you have a group of eighth notes in the time signature, Generally, the conductor might group them in groups of three. So it might be one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Um, it lets us rest our arm. Um, we're able to go a little bit faster. And uh, that's just generally how we do it. Now, I was counting one, two, three, one, two, three. Um, the conductor doesn't necessarily do that, but someone needs to do that. So you need to know where those eighth notes are. Um, and the person who needs to do that is you. So you need to be in your head. We call it subdividing when you count the eighth notes. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. When we first get to the part where we play a note, uh, it's measure 39, and a dotted quarter note gets three eighth notes. So it'll be played one, two, three. Then we get to measure 40. One, two, three. Then we get to measure 41. One, two, three. And then we move to five, four. So we like the four part. The five on the top is a little odd. They've added an extra note. Um, but it's nothing that we can't do. So I'm going to play from measure 39 and count it the way I would. I'm not expecting you to rest for all these measures. You can just skip ahead. It's fine. Okay, so measure 39 would be one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Now this next note in the 5-4 measure is an F sharp, so it's going to be an extension. One, two, three, four. Then we've got four measures of rest. And the ending of this, um, it look, it, there's a lot going on, but it's all a repeat. So this is a sandwich song. We've got the top. We've got this little bit at the, the middle that has all of the 3-8 or the different times. And then we go back to the, what happened at the beginning. Rest. really quickly on the same thing. Um, basis is actually going to be easier for you. For um, this piece, the hardest instrument is cello. Okay. These sharps, getting a new furnace. <laughs> These sharps are not so hard for you. We like to play sharps, so down on our lower strings, we're going to have four fingers, we're going to have four fingers, we're going to have four fingers. The only difference would be up here if we played on the G string, we would play four fingers for a natural, um, but we don't play up that high. So I'm going to play just a little bit. All of the rhythm and the counting is the same. So if I started at nine...
pretty easy for you. The lowest note that you have, um, well, you'll always play an F sharp. I know that this one is one of those tricky notes. So you're always going to play your first finger right on the tape um, for the F on the E string. And there is an open E, and that open E is um, measure 50. So I'm going to play just a little bit here. I'm going to play for measure 47. So rest. Rest. it up um, and also I just wanted to mention um, basses the there is no separate bass music it's cello and bass music so it just says cello at the very beginning um, but that's where you're gonna find it okay um, hopefully that helps everybody okay I am considering I may do a zoom at the end of the first week um, if people have questions um, on how to on how to do anything. And uh, I think that's it. All right. Um, good luck. And I hope you like the piece. All right. Bye.